Hello everybody, I'm back with another Doctor Who figure review. This time it's the Corella Chain from the episode School Reunion. This is one of my favourite episodes basically because they brought back Sarah Jane and I love Sarah Jane. She's one of my favourite all time top five assistants. Pretty hard to beat her. My favourite is Ace. But it's pretty hard to beat good old Sarah Jane. The Corella Chain, I really like these figures. We've got basically the same design, different variant here. Uh, or two different variants. Obviously, you can see the difference. There are variants of these with their mouths shut, but that's about that's that's the only difference that I can actually see. The mouth shut ones are rarer. So basically, because they're, because they're the same, and this camera is a bit of a douchebag and really wants to go in as uh, out of focus and not focus on one of these. So we're going to basically put uh, one aside and look at the you know look at the articulation and everything. So we'll go with the uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, red one. <laughs> so, sculpting wise, sculpting is really cool. They look nice and scary. They look like they're snarling and they're actually, you know, ready to ready to eat some kids. I don't know why I said it like that, eat some kids. <laughs> that was really bizarre. Um, but they actually, again, another figure with emotion. Yay! We can't get enough of figures with emotion. As you can see, the paintwork is really nice on the eyes. They're really crisp, really clean. And the sort of paintwork everywhere else is just basically a simple wash over the grey. But I think it looks effective. Um, as you can see, he comes with wings. Uh, you can put the wings up. Or you can put the wings down. I guess this is, this is we're talking about posability now. The wings do slightly have a little bit of a problem though. But that's not really much of a problem. I think it's, I suppose it's handier than them just being able to break off. But they can pull out really, really easily. Um, which can be a bit of a pain in the backside if one falls off a shelf, because then you've got to pick the wings back up. I don't have that much of a problem with, the, with, with, with my figures falling off the shelf, by the way, I'm often mentioned about figures falling off the shelf. Figures don't fall off my shelves. Um, <laughs> you know, unless, of course, I've, I've, I've dusted them or cleaned them and I've put them up wrong, and then they decide to you know, jump at me. The Krillotane, the, the, the Krillotane, um, Krillotane, Krillotane, uh, are, are, um, are a specific nuisance, and do, do have a tendency to do that, basically because of their their balance and isn't exactly perfect. Um, as you can see, it's like he's on the list and he's quite awkward. Uh, let's put the wing back. Um, other than that, you've got articulation, you've got a shoulder, you've got a ball joint in the shoulder, so he can uh, give you a, a nice range of movement there, uh, including the wave. Hello. Uh, we've got an elbow joint. Doesn't go out very far. You can't really get the arm. Stand up. No, stand up. You can't really get the arm um, to go out completely straight. Uh, but that's okay, except I think it adds to the alien nature of the actual figure. Um, then you've got a ball joints uh, on his legs. Another another figure that can... Uh, another figure on the range that can do the splits. And you've got joints at the knees. There you go, that's what I mean by his, uh, why his wings fall off. So it must have been a real big pain in the ass for kids to, uh, to, to play uh, with these figures. I really like both these figures. Um, it would have been... Nice, however, if maybe we also got like Anthony Head, um, who played the, um, the, the 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 headmaster. Um, it would have been nice if we actually had a figure of him, so we could you know um, have the collection. Because of course he couldn't uh, he couldn't change, whereas the other teachers could. But yeah, if you don't have any Krillotane figures in your collection, uh, you should get one. Uh, doesn't matter which one; they're all pretty much the same, apart from the head sculpt, um, and they are quite nice. I definitely will be expanding and getting the two with their mouths shut, eventually. But I really like these figures, and they definitely are worth putting in your collection, if you can get hold of them. 